Hey, Master Gardener, here we are in the woods again in Hartford County with another beautiful little small tree that's a native. So you will know the leaf, it's so distinctive. It's got those veins that come down and they kind of parallel the leaf margins. Looks just like a dogwood, doesn't it? It is a dogwood. But what makes this dogwood so unique is it's a stumper because it's not opposite. All dogwoods are opposite traditionally, except for this one. So this is Cornus alternifolia. The foliage on this one alternates. And the truth is, when you look at the stems real close, it almost looks like they're whirled. But when I first discovered it here in this particular park, I didn't know what it was because it didn't abide by the Cornus rules, which is opposite. So it always had me stumped. But wow, have I learned what a beautiful little tree this is. And it's native to this area. Wherever you find it from up in the Canada region all the way down to Georgia area, wherever you find it, it's never common. It's kind of a little bit more sporadic wherever it's found. But yet it frequents throughout this park and it likes to be along stream beds and moist areas. They say the roots like to be cool. They don't like alkaline soil. Always prefer in the acid soil with lots of organic matter. But I was looking today at the Morton Arboretum, they listed as a four seasons of ornamental interest. That's a high ranking. Like, yo, how could that be? So obviously one of the ranking reasons is in spring, it gets this pretty little cyme flower, which is yellowish in color, yellowish or whitish, very flat little traditional looking, if, if you know some of the dogwoods, and fragrant. But most of the books listed as unpleasing. But actually it's pleasing. So I have one in my yard now. Um, they're resistant to deer, but guess what? The buck rubbed its trunk. So it may be resistant to grazing by deer, but it's not resistant by the rubbing. So I love this little tree. And it's really a tree that can be grown in a small garden because it only gets 25 feet, partial shade, moist garden. So if you had a little tiny alcove around your house or you had a little bit shady spot, it's perfect for that. And the other reason that it makes a four season ornamental interest is the architectural branching, which is very, very, very horizontal. And not only that, it has the traditional dogwood, which is called symposial branching, which means it's kind of Y shaped. So kind of like my hands sticking up here, that's typically the way the little branches come out. And that makes it very pleasing in the midsummer season, sympodial branching. And then another bonus is in the fall months, you're getting pretty fall color, which is traditional of a lot of your dogwoods, that reddish brown color. The stems are kind of helpful to distinguish it too. They're green in the summer, and then in the winter months, they're a reddish brown, sort of a wine burgundy color in the winter months. But really an awesome tree. This one is probably at least 25, 30, it's, it's almost 30 feet here. And it's right along this little stream. And it is really in its prime right now, starting to lose. You get about two weeks at the most of these pretty little flowers. But an awesome little native tree, and I just wanted to share it with all of you. Yahoo!